Hey, what's going on everybody? So real quick, um, almost forgot to shoot this video for you guys, but right here we have a, a company van, company spinner. Um, a lot of you guys may be having a problem with, you know, cleaning the uh, vinyl floors. I'm going to just show you kind of what I do, but real quick, um, before we get to that, this isn't too, too bad. You may get these jobs sometimes. Um, they're pretty good. Most of the time, they just want you to do, you know, basically the cockpit of the uh, vehicle. You don't really have to do the back end. And if you are doing the back end, it's pretty simple. Spray it down with the pressure washer. But what I like to do when I get these cars in, these company cars that are like, you know, beat up and worn, torn. The driver's got snacks and all that stuff in here. I wish I started the video earlier, but I kind of already removed all that remove some of the stuff out as you can see there's just stuff everywhere the floor is kind of wet so what i do when i get these in obviously if they want me to just do, focus on this area i just focus on this area and just charge them accordingly um what i do to the floors and the doors is it may sound a little bit bad but i spray all my degreaser on the door um i don't do anything with you know the dash but I spray my degrees on the door, the floor step up right here, and also the floor, so the vinyl floor itself. So I spray my degrees on there. Also, I use um, bug, um, bug remover as well on the vinyl floors. And what I do from there is I power wash this whole door right here. Power wash it. Obviously, there's gonna be, you know, crumbs, dirt, dust, wrappers and stuff flying out of there so i spray it off real and i don't you know stay on it for you know a very long time i just boom hit it one time and then i'm good just a quick soap a quick soak just to you know get everything kind of agitated because you can see uh, right here i'm definitely gonna have to use the sponge on this there's gum right there but i basically just hose down the door I come down here and I hose down the step up, the floors. I even try to spray the tracks because the tracks are a little bit nasty. So I try to spray the tracks. I move the seat up. I spray the back of it. I always remove everything in there just so it's the van. And so I basically pretty much just spray it down. After that, I take my um, vacuum. I suck up all the water or enough water as it is. Then I come through with my degreaser again. And so I, I spray the steps again, and then I use my drill brush. So you can see the step is pretty clean. I wish I showed you guys a before picture, but just imagine this being covered in dust. And you can literally just spray your degreaser on there and wipe it off. Simple as that. I got my bucket right here. Got my bucket with everything. But well, you literally take that greaser, um, use the drill brush. Also have this attachment right here for those tight spaces. And you just literally drill everything. You can even use a scrubby pad. In my bucket, I've got obviously my towel. I have magic erasers and my scrub pads. And you just scrub it. And then after a while, let me just show you guys. After a while, it starts to look like this. So back to, um, I wouldn't say brand new, but back to what it would normally look like if it was taken care of just a little bit. But obviously this is a work truck. But yeah, that's pretty much dry now. The dust, ashy look will may come back depending on how old the vehicle is. But obviously this is a work van like i already mentioned in the beginning so putting any vinyl um restore or anything on here will just be kind of pointless because you'll be wasting product at that point um but definitely ask the customer if you guys will start doing commercial detailing just ask the ask the manager if he wants you to do that type of stuff um yeah i decided to make this quick quick quick, quick video um, yeah, obviously after that, once the floor is done, like I said, ask the customer if you want the, the black shiny look on there. At the end of the day, 
the reason why I don't do it on most of them, and I kind of let the uh, manager know that is because they're gonna throw this thing back out into the fleet or just sell it to somebody that's just gonna dirty it up again. But if they're selling it, you know, sometimes I will throw a little shiner on there, just a little bit on the dash. Um, I'll use a different type of shiner on the floors to where it's like not slippery. Um, you definitely gotta watch that. But yeah, your floor should come out just like this. You know, just a, a, a decent black look. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is, um, obviously the seats move up and down. I'm gonna leave the fire extinguisher there. Um, they have a bunch of, the driver tends to drop things under the seats. So, as you can see, there's hooks right here. You just unhook this. And then obviously I'll just put these back in here, but you just unhook it and you can get all the way up in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of a bad view, but let me flip this camera around. Okay, so yeah, you just unhook that and you can get all the way up in there. There's a ton of crumbs and stuff that usually drop down in there. They're not there anymore because I just detail it. But right here is a huge, another huge problem. Obviously, you got a nasty cup holder I got to deal with vents and just dust and everything um tackling that will be the same as i tackle any other car but as you can see there's stuff hidden down in there if you guys got a detailing van you guys know what i'm talking about you can see those yellow tags but if you guys are working with this a lot of times these just pop off so this top comes off like that they basically just have tabs on them. I guess it's just three tabs on there holding it. Set that to the side. And then this base always pops off too. Just be gentle with it because there's just tabs on those two. Just one, two, three, four. You can see how dirty that is. I just blew a bunch of stuff. And then you can get to the rest of the party clean it out and make it look nice so I'll just get all this out of here this is everything that he kind of left and it just fell in and that's kind of like the little small details that they like so hopefully you guys got a ton of uh, knowledge and value out of this video I just wanted to show you guys that real quick um, Obviously, you guys know this company, they're pretty big, but um, it's pretty much what they got in the back. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a cage, but it, um, this job, this company, they get pretty, pretty dirty and stuff, so it's fire protection, obviously. But yeah, if I was to do this van, you can see right here, you can see how dusty and dirty these floors were in the front. So they were the exact same thing. And now check out that side by side. Thumbnail. But yeah, <laughs> as you can see, um, it was dusty and dirty, obviously. Look at all that sand, dust, dirt, hair, screws, you name it, it's in here. Um, they didn't want me to do this obviously because they're about to send this back out and it's going to get dusty over again. But if I was to do the same thing, I would spray it with my degreaser. I would hit it with some bug remover, you know, some, some decently strong stuff. You could do some wheel acid that'll get it. Um, and then spray down the whole thing, you know, wet it up, bring your drill brush. Um, also scrub it with something else if you want to, like a, a scrubby pad and then hose it off again. Make sure you're kind of uphill or something. Um, or if you got like an air mover or a squeegee, just use that too. Cause once you spray it off again, after you've scrubbed it and stuff like that, you're gonna have some stuff sitting there. And so all you need is a vacuum. And then pretty much you'll get it looking like, you know, this, this side right here. So but yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to know something else. 
um, how I get these contracts sometimes. Um, other tips and tricks. Uh, like I said, we got some gum to remove, some sticker residue to remove. Obviously, I'm um, brightening up the seats as well. But yeah, just let me know if you guys want to know something else. Hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, give this a major thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you got a ton of value out of this. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.